when we are looking at motion economy. And so the motion economy rules, for example, Therblig's, uh, comprise a system for analyzing motions involved in performing tasks. And as the story goes, it was their name spelled backwards, except for the TH. And it go, dates all the way back to, you know, the, the uh, 1920s. And so just keep that in mind. Uh, and hopefully everybody's kind of familiar with it from one of your undergraduate classes. Uh, but the, the concept is another qualitative piece of information. I doubt if they're going to give you this particular uh, chart on the exam. It's not in the handbook, but the concept is uh, very clear and uh, useful. So the method is a system that is easily applied to all types of activities, but allows identification of what the Gilbreths viewed as unnecessary or fatigue producing motions. Okay. So this feeds back in to what we were just talking about on uh, design and the whole idea when we were up here on musculoskeletal uh, tension and posture requirements and uh, workstation operation. Okay. So the criteria of what an individual could go through when they are working a given workstation is we can have uh, the individual have to search for something, find the location, select it, get hold of it, and then transport it over to some place, uh, position it, and then assemble things, uh, disassemble, inspect, use, being like a screwdriver, something like that. Uh, before they put, assemble it, they might have to pre-position it. They can release the load. Uh, and they can plan. There's resting that takes place. And the last two, unavoidable delays and avoidable delays. Uh, avoidable delay uh, is rest period, so on. Unavoidable delay, something, take, something just isn't working quite right. Okay, so this is what we would anticipate as the group of information in what uh, we've been now considering for workstation design. And this is a nice... Um, summary of the content that we just went through associated with activity of design. Okay, and so the 18 elements, if they ask, uh, are just basically laid out here. And so we were looking at the idea that you, we could have a design where an individual is standing at uh, a table they have to reach across in order to get a component. They can then put it in front of them on the table. They can then get a tool, work with uh, combining different items that they just got, and then they put it away, package it, and so on. And so that includes then searching for what they need to, to basically grasp. They can find it. They might have to select it from the uh, groupings that are across the table. Uh, the workspace uh, in, in slots. They select what they want so they can grab it and then they might have to hold it or they're going to position it or they're going to use a tool that they've already got. So this is kind of the process down through here and then they can assemble it or they're disassembling something. Okay, uh, and then they can inspect it. Now, in addition to this, we can have individuals who are transporting a load or they could be transporting something that's unloaded over to a location where they're going to search find select and put it on the transport in order for it to then be moved and then what we were looking at down here there might be the need to pre-position something for an operation and they can release a load uh, then we've got the unavoidable delay and we have avoidable delays uh, planning has to take place and then we have to accommodate rest to overcome fatigue which goes back to this guy right here let's go skeletal tension okay so all of those little items then are summarized on our page and uh, allow us to get a, a comfortable review of items that are going to fit into the potential questions that could be asked on the exam for our uh, workstation design.